Hi and welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I pray this short message will encourage you. Friends, God sees who hurts. God sees who trusts. God sees who waits. We're in a season that we didn't really expect. Maybe that's you today. Are you hurting? Are you trusting? Are you waiting? Psalm 20, 22 verses 1 and 2. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from my cries of anguish. My God, I cry out day by day, but you do not answer by night. But I find no rest. Psalm 56 verse 8, you keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle. You have recorded each one of them in your book. I'm always encouraged by Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They'll walk and not faint. Faith requires patience. There are rarely instant solutions to the things we are facing. But God does promise that if we will slow down, if we'll wait for him, in quiet confidence, then he will come and strengthen you and strengthen me. When we find ourselves discouraged, when we find ourselves spiritually drained, when we find ourselves struggling, it's time to slow down. It's time to stop, to pray and to listen. We cannot clearly hear from God until we stop, be still, Stop talking and listen. A grandfather took his eight-year-old grandson out on a nature walk. The boy was running ahead and he came to a swift moving mountain stream. The grandfather was afraid that the boy was going to fall in. So he shouted out, wait for me and I'll get you across. Surprisingly, the young boy stopped and obeyed. When the grandfather got to him, he lifted him up onto his shoulders and both of them crossed over the fast moving water. The grandson said, if I hadn't waited for you, I never would have made it across that fast flowing creek. But I stopped and listened for your voice. We must wait on God in the same way. Don't run ahead of him. When we find ourselves weary, it's time for wait, to wait and be refreshed. When we find obstacles before us that seem out of our control, it's time to wait and listen. Wait on the Lord. Help him carry you through each day. Craig Sherl says this, You don't always have the power to control, but you always have the power to surrender. Micah 6, 8. Maybe you know it. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Friends, we make things so complicated. We get so stressed and confused about finding out what God's plan is. What's his purpose for our life? We pray, we ask others to pray for us. And we worry that we've missed the answer. And we won't get it right. But clearly God has shown us what we are to do. What our purpose is. What the plan he has for our lives. He requires us to do good and to be good. 
We have the Holy Spirit of God living within us, guiding us, directing us. It's about our words. It's about our actions. It's about thinking right thoughts and believing that God will guide. Justice begins with the heart of God in us. It must be measured by God's standards, not ours. When we are humble, humble before God, we are obedient to His leading. It is our heart that He is seeking and watching. Mercy. Mercy is precious. Precious to God. When we show mercy, our hearts are laid open to God's love and His compassion. It's a powerful place. We must live in a reality of being aware of His presence with us daily. Our tension and striving comes when we try to do things in our own strength. Don't let go of what you know to be good, just, merciful and humble and ask the Holy Spirit of God to work in you and through you. Isaiah 40, 31 But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. That's for you today. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They'll run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. May God bless you. Amen.